Imagine you're working on a task and you give that task to an autonomous AI agent that gets it done without a hand holding, without additional instructions. It does the full research, creates the files, has access to a local PC. Now that's the promise of the AI. And today we're looking at Manus AI, the what seems to be the first autonomous AI agent with that kind of promise. This is V, welcome to my lab, let's go. With all the headlines coming out, AI is definitely grabbing a lot of attention. And China seems to be leading the way with a deep seek, making such a difference to the stock market and to how people perceive how AI can be done. Now, Manus AI, it seems to be another one of those stories that is making a lot of people think if the America and other countries are really leading the way or if China is already ahead of the game. To have a look at Manus AI, you go to the website Manus M, where it's starts with a very basic, leave it to Manus. Now, unfortunately, due to popular demand, the Manus is not available for trying out. It's not open source yet, but they provide a lot of galleries and examples of how Manus AI actually works. Now, let's have a look. The first example here, trip to Japan. Manus by itself works on a remote cloud PC. So with this proprietary version, it actually works on the other VM that outside of your control where a number of tools installed. And you will see it will have access to the web browser. It will be searching the internet, making decisions where and how it wants to go based on a single goal that you would have given the AI to. It's claiming to work on the documents, create the websites, create programs, even games end to end all in one place based on a single prompt. Now, unfortunately, it's impossible to try Manus at this point in time. You get to a place where it says, get your invitation code. Now, I don't have access to that code. I've requested access to it, but unfortunately, like a thousand of other users, I haven't received my access code yet. So if you wanna try something similar to that, the alternative called Open Manus. Open Manus is open source version of Manus AI that's being created by MedGPT, the other team that's so familiar to the AI community. They started the repository on the 7th of March and it already exceeded over 25,000 stars on the GitHub, probably. They started this project only four days ago and they already exceeded 28,000 stars. Probably by the time you're watching this, it will be over 29,000. Now, what can it actually do and how do you start? To show the explanation, how it works, and the installation method is simple. I followed the one using Condor example, where I created the environment and I get it going. Now let's have a look. Once you clone the repository, it's going to be the way you see it on the screen over here with all the files. The first point to take in mind that you need the config file, you make an example. I have one that I won't show because it now contains my API keys there and I've excluded it. You will need to update the model that you wanna use and then put your key over here. And that is pretty much it. Next part, you open the terminal and then you run python space main.py. That gets you into the prompt area. With this prompt area, you decide how and what you want to prompt. Now let's go to the examples and pick an example like this one. Let's see if it can actually come up with a seven day itinerary for the trip. We'll see straight away that it will start with 20 steps. Now I know some YouTubers are saying that it's magically defines 20 steps, it doesn't. It simply limits for the number of iterations and that option can be adjusted in code. And it actually tells you what is it that it's doing. It has various tools already available and defined to it, such as a Google search. And it also has access to the Chrome browser, which you can see over here at the doing. It's actually opening the pages, it's navigating them, it's taking the content, it will be able to open and browse other pages as it sees it needed. You can see it's taking the content and putting it back in console and it's step four out of 20. And there it is, it finished executing steps 20 out of 20. It navigated to additional pages. Nope, it still stayed on the same page on the browser and, and it created a file. Let's have a look. Go. And this is the file that it created. Before recording a video, I tried a few variations of different prompts from the actual playbook. My personal opinion, Open Manus isn't where it should be 
based on the feedback, based on the examples that's given on the actual. But of course, it's difficult to verify how the actual manus works. There's a mixed feedback from various other YouTubers and community members about the performance of the proprietary solution. Sometimes people are able to get very good, tremendous results, and sometimes it's a bit of a flop like this, something that a normal chat GPT can also come up with. Now, this is the worst this AI agent ever going to be. And this is a pretty good start. Now let's see where it's going to get you in the next days, weeks or months. I've been keeping an eye on the commits on the repository and I could see people working day and night, committing every 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, new features and new capabilities. So I think it's just going to be a matter of days or maybe a matter of weeks before open manus able to perform pretty well. This of course comes not without some of the risks. Open Manus works on your local PC, while Manus itself works on the cloud PCs that will probably come available as a part of the access, probably paid access. A local version has access to your whole environment, which means if you have some confidential data, keys, you could possibly access those and expose those inadvertently. There are other solutions like for example, Antropic with the PC access that seems to be able to do this and other tasks already. And it's a pretty robust and it also runs in a local container environment that makes it quite different to set it up, but also safer to run. Still, like I said before, this is the worst it's ever going to be and it will only get better. If you'd like to see how it develops going forward, press the like and subscribe and I'll keep you posted.